Okay, if you haven't read your lab sheet, lab B4, pause the video and do that. Go make your data table because there are going to be some measurements. Okay, this is your first one. Room temperature, record the temp and record the pressure. Then we'll watch ice being added, which obviously is going to cool the temperature down and fast stirring and until the temperature stops changing and we achieve a stable steady pressure. Go ahead and make another reading and add that to your data table. So we'll repeat this procedure with a little bit more ice and uh, bring the temperature down a bit colder with stirring. There's obviously some lag time between the ice being added and the temperature adjusting inside the flask. This takes time, speedy stirring there, and finally we'll achieve a stable situation with the pressure and the temperature, and you can make another measurement, adding that to your data table, pressure and temperature. The process will be, again be repeated, but this time, since we're at pretty cold temperature, we'll replace the ice water with warm water, and you'll see the temperature rise along with the pressure. Go ahead and make another reading and add that to your data table. So we'll continue along with this procedure again with warmer still. And uh, this is a little bit like watching grass grow, but you'll see we'll continue this along with several more temperatures. Make another measurement and record to your data table. You can see that I'm warming water on the hot plates and we'll make a swap out again. Stir, of course. Go ahead and make yet another measurement. This procedure will be carried on several more times, swapping out for warmer water still with plenty of quick stirring. And go ahead and make another measurement. And we'll repeat the procedure. I think the water underneath the beaker was cooling the uh, beaker replacement. So I've removed that, wiped it away, stirring quickly getting ready for a stable temperature and pressure and go ahead and make another measurement. We'll repeat this again, swapping out for water warmer still. You can see oh, that came in from another hot plate I had running. Go ahead and make another measurement. Heating more water still, replace it with that one and we'll get the temperature up quite a bit higher stirring and make yet another measurement. Be sure to record all of this to your data table. So we'll swap out again. Two more measurements we'll make, trying to get the temperature up quite a bit hotter. Had to use the hot hands that time. Beakers are getting quite warm. Stirring and go right ahead. When we get that stabilized, go ahead and make another temperature and pressure measurement. Swapping out one last time and um, we'll see what we can get up to the temperature this time. N uh, yep, just making it into the 90s. Go ahead and make one final temperature. There we go. It's holding steady now. And head back to your data table and the lab sheet.